Hello, my name is Paul Comano. I'm uh, teaching self-defense here at Hilton Head Health. I'm a second degree black belt in mixed martial arts. That's Aikido, Jiu Jitsu, and Karate. Um, I'll be demonstrating here with this young intern today and um, we'll try not to hurt each other and we'll, we'll do a little demonstration here, something easy to keep us going. Three things you should know when you're out walking around. Walk with a purpose, walk with your head up, and know your surroundings. Okay, so just a couple of few things. If you'd grab me here, just to rest, this is an easy one. Somebody's going to grab a woman or a guy. What you're going to do is you're going to, as you leave, this is the thumb. So that's the opening. I'm going to take it back like this, and I'm going to take a step back. Now, I'm prepared. I always keep my hands open. You will not see me make a fist. I'm going to grab something and break it. So if you would come towards me, now I'm ready. So as you step towards me, I can come back and hammer fist you, hopefully get you in the ear. Okay? Another one now. With that same hold, he's got me like this. I cannot break it. So what I'm going to do, everything you do is same hand, same foot. I'm going to step, turn, and bring him back and take him over like this. I can put him to the ground. Or my thing is, you want to just get away. Don't try to be a hero. You do not know what that person knows. And if they're on drugs or they're drunk, they're just going to keep fighting. So you leave. That's it. Now, opposite hands, if you would grab this, and I can't get away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a step, same hand, same foot, I'm going to turn and go into an arm bar. Okay, now I have you here. I can either, which I won't do, is break this, or I can leave and go and say, okay, you're done, and then I can walk away. Or I'm going to put you down on the ground until security or a police officer or somebody comes, or I have to go further with it. Okay, another one that somebody grabs you. Now, I know where his thumb is, so I'm going to turn this way because that's where his thumb is. If I go this way, he's going to bring his hand around and he can choke me. So, again, I'm going to go this way, lock this, I'm going to step and come up and I'm going to take his nose. Okay? But, if this happens, as you're doing this, watch the person. If they go like this and flinch, don't hit them because they just maybe just grabbed you on the back to say excuse me or something, not knowing. But if they've got that look in their eye, then you come up and take their nose off. And, Somebody's nose will bleed, their eyes are going to water, blurs their vision, gives you a little advantage, I guess, though, that you can get away, okay? Another one is this one. Another one is a good one is, I'll come by, and I, again, my hands are open. I'm going to come this way, bend this down, and take him this way. Now, if I move this up here just a little bit, can you feel it? Yeah. Okay, so I don't even have any pressure on it. Look, my hand's like this. Just think if I did that, if I took that and went like that, something would pop, okay? I don't want to teach people to be a bully, but I don't want them to be bullied. So it's always best to break the grab that the person has on you and get away, whether you're a man or a woman. Okay? Another one is if you if I'm standing here and I have my hands in my pockets, I can't if my hands are in my pocket, he has me. Okay? So I don't have my hands in my pocket. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buck him, I'm gonna come around behind him like this, I'm gonna come like this, and I'm gonna stretch him. Now I can choke him out, okay? I can hit him in the ribs. Okay? You yep. all right? Yep, I'm good. <laughs> now, another one, a good one for a girl, a woman, uh, is grab both my wrists. Okay, the guy has you here, and you can't get away. What you're going to do is you're going to kick him, step, grab, go, and kick him in the knee, and then go on your way. Okay? So it's going to be you grab, you're going to kick, step, go, kick, and run. Okay, now this one, you, you, you're choking me, okay? He's got me here. He's choking me. I'm up against the wall. So I'm going to come up, break this, grab this arm, grab this head, bring it down, and bring my knee up, kick him in the nose. Then I can go this way, kick him in the knee, and away I go, okay? Another one is you got me with one arm. Somebody's choking you like this, okay? I'm going to put it, hand on your wrist, elbow. Now, if he was taller than me, I would break him down like this. I'm going to turn him this way, come around, put this here, here. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now again, I have no pressure on him. But this knife section of my arm is in here and here. What you do there, usually if the person's not cooperating and, you know, not letting go, when he goes limp, he's asleep. If you continue to do it, he's not going to wake up. Now, another one is, if you're going to swing at me, I'm going to block it, okay? I'm going to step in, and I'm going to come over like this. 
Now, if there's a tree or wall behind me, I'm going to keep shuffling you back to that wall. And then you could take his head and put it into the wall. Okay? Somehow, I'm going to disable you enough that I can get away. As the class goes on, there's more and more to it. For every move we make, there's a counter. That if you do something different, I'll counter. There's a counter for it. So if, you, if you're swinging at me again, okay, I'm going to block this, bring it over, bring it around, and then I'm going to come here like this. And as I pull down, I'm going to stand up and take this with me. Okay, this is going to stay. This isn't. Okay? Another one is, you're swinging at me. I block it. I take you over. I hold this here. And then I take this and go like that. Uh, okay? Sure. All right, now you can try, uh, try the arm bar again. Okay, this you have. I have you here. Just take this around. That's it. That's it. There you go. See? And you take me over. Okay, and that's, if you have any questions, I'm here every Thursday at uh, 4.30. We have a class, and uh, I can probably take up to 10 to 15 people at a time for that 45 minutes. And usually the last couple classes we have, we, we go over because people have questions and want to do other things, and I'm, I'm happy to do that. So 4.30 is on Thursday, but uh, I'll be there. Thank you.